Hey, I hope you remember I'm in class. I'm recording and talking while she's talking. Okay, so you have your data piece. I remember you had your data piece here. You click on it. You had your tables, right? I have my tables. I put name, surname, and an ID. Now you make this. Remember the data set XDS. That's the place where we click and drag the database table over. All right, so we drag it over. Then we build. After we build, we go. We're just using this page tools. We take grid view, drag it here. Give it a little while. Especially on your computer, I know it may be very slow. Then you choose the data source, which is just a way to hook up the grid to the database through that um, layer we call the data access layer, which is the data set I have here. Say OK. We select that table adapter. Remember, the table adapter is the name of the table. Alright, we say finish. Okay, so we have this. Now this is good. This will display the data as is from the database. So let me show you my data. Anytime now, anytime now. Okay, so that's what we did. We have our data display in a grid. Your grid may look different because I use a nice template to make it look just like data. Now, what we want to do is put buttons on all this so that these steps that we would follow now. Here, now this is where you need to pay attention. You click on this, edit column, click on the field. So like I want to hide name, so I click convert to template, surname, convert to template. Then I say OK. Then I go to the codes and I would see the grid with some fields called template field. You would not see these fields except you click to convert them into template field. And we will be dealing with the item. So the guy's code, which would be on the stack overflow side, we need to put button. So I'm taking button, taking this, and the label. The label is going to display the data. So here, in the first item template, I'm going to just remove what came in. And I'll paste the his code there. Now the bot has a name. That's okay. It has cross dot now, which would be the CSS file. That I'll show you. I'll show you where that comes. And this is I would say show value. The name of the lab the ID. This is okay. Now Eva. You put the value here. In this case, it was name. The name of the database field that goes here, name. That's the same thing like this all right so i'm putting this and this so that's the first one so if i run nothing should happen yet because i did not hook up the css the css is what does all the trick See, so it buttons take over, but nothing happens when we click. This is where we need to put in the CSS file. So, 
ดีจบสกอปดิสกอปดิสอันดรอยด์ anywhere in your HTML I like to put it I'll just put it up put clip file and put it there that's it so now let's run So now, if you click, it shows because the CSS takes effect. So the whole thing is with this CSS here, this script. So I hope you could achieve that. That is very easy to achieve, and you do it for every for all the template fields. We'll do that. So what you could do, you could start designing everything you are doing, and then we could just implement that as we go along. Because once you do it once, you get to do it. So maybe Sunday we could do that if you can't achieve it if you don't get to achieve it today for yourself.